For today's bonus episode, I'm just going to show you how to practice some brush strokes using a round brush and a flat brush. Um, this is such great practice for just getting comfortable with your brushes, learning what they're capable of. And it's also a great painting idea if you're just sitting down in front of a blank piece of paper and you're not sure what to do. So um, let's start with the round brush. I'm going to wet it first. I just have some juicy paint mixed up right here. And the amusing thing about a round brush is that you can use the belly of the brush to paint really broad strokes, and you can use the fine tip to paint something as tiny as an eyelash. Round brushes are really the most versatile, amazing brushes for watercolor especially. This one is just a size eight, and it's probably my favorite size. I use these every single day. So to start out, we're just gonna do some really, really easy, basic, fine tip brush strokes. So I'm just grabbing some paint and using the very tip of my brush, I'm gonna rest my hand against the side of the paper and just do some little straight lines. This is a great way to test how thin you can make your brush strokes. And it's also a good thing to practice trying to get your lines parallel, equidistance apart. You can also add some horizontal brush strokes. Again, resting your hand. The nice thing about watercolor is that it does dry pretty fast. So you can actually use the surface of the paper to rest your hand on it. Now let's experiment a little bit with how thick we can get our brush strokes with a round brush. I'm going to start by just placing my brush straight down and flattening it like this and pulling. You can create a really nice thick line Another fun thing to try, and this is a great technique for painting things like leaves, is to start with a really, really thin tip of your brush stroke, and then as you're pulling down, flatten to the belly of the brush, and then release again, lightly, and then flattening. So we're gonna create this kind of pattern. So where that comes in handy is when you're painting a leaf, for example, and you can start with the tip of the leaf and then just flatten and release like that. So if you're painting a little plant, you can add leaves. So that's a fun thing to try if you're just experimenting with your brush. Let's do one more with our round brush. Again, sticking with the kind of leaf theme. I'm using my cheap, cheap paper, by the way. When you're just playing and experimenting, this is a great time to just use your cheap paper and not worry too much about the surface. All right, so I'm going to tilt my hand around like this and start with the tip of my brush and then just scoop it around and around the stroke here. You can do the same thing starting this way, tip, flatten, scoop. And then another thing you can do is you can do two brush strokes side by side like this. And I think that creates a really lovely leaf shape. You can experiment with making them thicker or thinner however you want to do it. All right, now let me show you just a couple brush strokes you can do with your flat brush. You can actually make straight lines with a flat brush as well. You start at the top here and just drag your brush down. It can make some really amazing flat, straight lines. You can also use the, the widest side of your brush to do that. Another fun thing to do with flat brushes is to make patterns, more geometric shapes. So for example, if I have a generous amount of paint here, 
I'm just going to start by making a rectangle shape. Too much paint here. <laughs> Too much paint. So make a rectangle shape and then you can come up and continue that pattern. Kind of fun, right? You can also make rounded shapes with your with your flat brush. Like that. Works great for things like fish scales. So just have a lot of fun experimenting and I think the more you just play with your brushes and experiment with the different things that the tips and the sides and more pressure and less pressure can do, just the more comfortable you'll get with your brushes and with painting in general. This also serves as a great warm up before starting an actual painting. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe if you're new here and turn on notifications so you never miss any new videos. Thanks so much for watching.